Hi everybody, I was asked this month to be a guest designer in the Facebook group, Loaded Envelope Galore and More. So this month we are doing a Shaker Memory Dex card. I created this file for everybody. If I can't figure out how to share it in the comments below, um, be sure to join their Facebook group because I will be able to link it in the event, on the event page. I've never put a file on a YouTube video, so I'm not really sure how to do it. So um, I will have it in the Facebook group. Again, it's Loaded Envelope Galore and More. The file consists of, I'm going to be showing you how to make this memory dex card. And this, it, that's after this little section and it's fast forward. It's like an eight minute process I showed you. Um, it's going to take me eight minutes, but <laughs> the, so it, the file cuts five file, five pieces. So it gives you two frames and two windows and then the base. So the base, I like to use chipboard because I like how it makes it sturdy and thick in your hand and it holds up really nicely. However, if you don't have chipboard, you can just have your machine cut probably about six of these and just stack them together So when or glue them together and that'll give you the depth and the sturdiness and it'll give you the area for the shaker here because this will be thick enough for the sequence to move around. So when I make mine, I I put the frame on top of the star and then I take my little sewing clips and I clip this down and then I stitch around the star. Um, again, if you don't have a sewing machine, you can use I whatever glue you normally use to adhere your paper to the acetate. I have glue that I got off of Amazon. I will link the bottle below because I forget what it's called and I don't have the actual bottle anymore, but you're going to stick that on here. Then when you have all these stacked up, or if you have the chipboard, you're going to then glue that onto here. I have in the past uh, stitched directly onto my chipboard, but some people's machines, they ask me and their needle breaks or it doesn't do it. So if, you, if you're unsure if your machine works on your chipboard, just try it. If it works, then go ahead and you can stitch the first layer right down on top of the chipboard, which is awesome because then you know it's super secure. So then don't forget to put your sequence in here first. You're gonna have the depth from the paper or the chipboard. And then the other piece, you're gonna do exactly the same way. And then this, if you wanna switch your frame color, is gonna go here. So that is your base. Well, it's all stuck because they're all the wrong way and the chip, anyways, you get it. So you can choose your different papers. I chose, I think, four different papers. So the, four different paid pa pieces of paper. I have one here and then a different one here and then another piece here and a different piece here. So it's totally up to you. The way that it's, I have it though, there's only one of the, this, one of these. So if you want to do two papers, you have to copy and paste this and make another one so you can get the opposite color on the back if I'm making any sense. Hopefully I am. Um, okay. So then you're going to, after this, after you, after you assemble your memory dex card, we're going to, I'm going to show you how I made this one in the video. I talked about how I added some more things after the video. I added these two balloons and this little heart, uh, which I did go back and add after watching myself almost put it there. So it'll make sense when you guys watch the video, but hopefully my file will work down below. Again, if it doesn't, you'll have to head over to the Facebook group, which I will link in the comments below. I cannot wait to see what everybody is making or how their shaker card turns out, what paint, what collections you guys use. I'm super excited to see. I've never done this before, so it's very cool that I've created a file and we're all going to make the same file. I think that's super exciting. Um, and it's my first file that I've ever made, so yay. <laughs> um, okay, I can't wait. Uh, please do tag me if you don't join the swap. If you just make one, I would love to see what you guys do. And stay tuned to watch me make this and explain a little bit more about what's going on in the Facebook group. Okay, thanks guys. Bye. Okay, so and now that we have our base done, I'm going to show you, before I started filming, I kind of pieced those together because this video was about an hour and a half long. Um, I'm very indecisive when I'm building my memory dex cards, so this part I did off camera, but there is still an hour. We I shrunk it down to eight minutes for you guys, but there's still an hour of work that I did on this card. So um, don't worry, you're going to see me piecing together other items. I um, like to lay everything out before I glue it down and honestly, I move it back and forth 
500 times, at least 500 times. I deleted so much of that, what I'm doing right now, back and forth, back and forth, move it to the left, move it to the right. That's just how I process how I'm laying out my things. Even if it's like a smidgen to the right or to the left, I still, for whatever reason, I have to move it around a thousand times until I decide what I want to do. So now when I'm layering, um, I, I really never know how I want to layer my items and I just kind of start pulling out ephemera and sometimes I've said it in my previous videos, I'll get stuck on one piece of ephemera forever and then I will, or, or chipboard or at whatever, a piece of something and then I won't even use it. I literally will try to use something forever and then I'm like, whatever, I'm not using it or I'll pick something else up. Like that little rainbow tag I didn't end up using. However, I didn't invest that much time into that one. Um, these are two, this is the Hooray collection by Crate Paper. Um, it's a birthday theme collection. I've got, this is probably the biggest project I've made with it. I made a couple of birthday cards and I think that's it. Yeah, these, I made two memory decks cards, this one and another one off camera, but um, I'm lost for words for a second there. <laughs> I, when I watch my videos afterwards and there's a pause, I always feel like in my head the pauses are so long, but then when I watch the video, I'm like, oh, that wasn't even that long. So, okay, now that my brain is functioning again somewhat. That little heart is a die. I think it's a Heidi Swap die that was gifted to me from Tuesday morning possibly, but, but quite some time ago. And this pom-pom trim I just received in my Valentine's Day swap. And it's from Kate. And um, I couldn't use it on here. I tried to use it multiple times. It comes back into the video a little bit later, but it, it just wasn't working properly. So now I'm layering my items. I glued the heart on an angle. You saw I try to put it on straight, but sometimes the stuff looks nice on an angle. So you don't always have to line everything up straight so it's the right way. You can put it whatever way you want. I've put hearts upside down before just to get the effect at the bottom or to the side. See, here I am again, putting it back, putting it off, taking it on, taking it off. I do a lot of the stitching off camera, so I just stitched that flag. I stitch the other one. No, I don't think I stitched the other one. I don't, did I use the other one? I did use the other one. I can't even remember. I did use both of them. I just don't think I stitched the triangle one. Although I guess we'll find out because I really can't remember. Oh, and even after I show you guys, so these are little charms that I make. I do wire, I wire wrap them. I make extra little danglies and then I put them in that little storage thing. So when I need them, they're ready to go. Those stars are from BB Craft. I love those stars. They give you a huge packet of them. I don't remember how much they are, but they're awesome. And when you're using on, make sure when you're putting your jump rings on, it's hard to see in my video here, but you want to pull your pliers away from you. Um, not so it's hard. Like when you snap your finger, no, that's not a good example. I think the last time I said, when you open up a bag of potato chips, you don't want to do that with your pliers. You don't want to pull the jump ring open. You want to slide your hand one towards your body and one away from your body so that more it opens more like um, you're cracking it open instead of pulling it open or you're twisting it open I guess sort of. You don't want to pull it open because then it distorts the jump ring and then uh, make sure when you place your jump ring if it's tight on a piece of chipboard like that just put it in the spot you want it to then you're going to slip on your other items with another jump ring so they can dangle. If you try to squeeze them on there sometimes they don't dangle very nicely. Okay, so now again, I'm layering my pieces. I still haven't glued it down. That little iridescent thread that you just saw me use, it's from Michael's, the, the stuff that's wrapped around at the, at the top left corner, pretty much behind where I'm placing that now, behind the heart. Uh, if you buy it, when I first started using it, it was very bent and I'm like, what? It doesn't wrap properly, but it's plastic. So just pull it, give it a little stretch. And if you stretch it out, it takes all the kinks out. So once I put my pom-pom trim on, see, I tried to use that other one again. I ended up using a different one from my stash. It wasn't sitting evenly because half of the thing had the weight or the, the depth of the pom-pom trim. So I just used puffy stickers and, and whatever else I had right there to make it even. So when I glued it down, it was the same level. So it wasn't on an angle. Otherwise it would have been tilting down um, because the bottom puffy part was interfering. So, and I think that was actually a piece of chipboard 
just the scrap chipboard, like the edges and the frames, the part that you don't normally use, I put on there to give it, to make it sturdy. So now I glued the, the present on there. I'm still messing with it. And when I tell you I deleted so much, I truly did. I messed with this thing forever. Once the glue's on though, it's permanent. So I can't change my mind anymore. Uh, now I think I glue it down. Yep, just hot glue, place those. Sometimes if they don't overlap all the way properly, I'll put a little pop dot just to give it some more support. But because a lot of it was touching each other, like that heart, I didn't think it needed the pop dot behind it. But sometimes if it's only barely touching that one layer, I'll put reinforcement behind it so it, it'll hold. So I was cautious at the bottom to make sure that it didn't get in the way of the little holes for the memory dex holder. And now I'm just placing stars. I, I don't show you, if you head over to my Instagram, I'll probably have a picture of it there um, and possibly in the group as well. I'm sure I'll probably, oh, I'm going off track. That heart, I did not put that heart there on that balloon, but then when I was watching this video to do the voiceover and editing the video, I was like, oh my gosh, that looked really cute there. So I went and grabbed the heart and I put it back. I Well, I grabbed another one and put it on that uh, balloon. And I did add, as I was saying, a lot of stuff that I didn't show you in the video. I added a balloon on top of one of the balloons, like a puffy sticker balloon to draw out, to bring out the balloon. I often do that when I think I'm done. I'll look at it later and I'm like, oh, this could have this there. I think I added a something else also. I can't remember, but I definitely added the balloon. Oh, I added a balloon in the background too, I believe. So head on over, make sure you guys head on over to Loaded Envelopes Galore and More. I'm pretty sure, hopefully I'm saying that right. Yeah, Loaded Envelope Galore and More Facebook page. If you wanna join in on this uh, swap, I'm not sure exactly of the rules um, just now, but they will all be posted. You do have to be a member in there. You have to answer some questions to come in. They don't just want anybody. It's basically like how long have you been crafting for? Uh, what's your favorite craft? company, I believe, but it'll be on there when you go to request to join. And if you want to join in on this swap, everybody's going to be making this memory dex card, of course, with their own style, but the base is going to be the star shaker in the background. So I will include the link for the star shaker. I'm hopeful that I can figure out how to attach it at the bottom to Dropbox. But if I can't, then it'll be linked in their Facebook group on the bottom of the post or in the actual event page for the um, swap. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you again, as always, for watching. I will be heading over to the Facebook group. So if you have any questions, you can comment below or go join the group. And hopefully I will see you guys there. I cannot wait to see what yours looks like. Please do tag me wherever you do if you don't join the group. Thank you.